Hello and welcome to episode 14 of Idol Slayer 100% Achievement Journey. I got a few requests for that tutorial I was talking about, so I decided to do it. This video is made for people who are having difficulty with the bonus stage, but still, even if you're comfortable with it, you can watch if you're curious to see how I approach things. And check out the conclusion for an update on divinities. For those who need it, I hope this helps. First of all, if you have the same trouble that I had, you really have to buy the pink blocks. They help in two spots and I'm gonna show you where. It's on the left side of the tree and it's 8000 SP. So I recommend you buy this, otherwise it's gonna be much tougher. Let's look at part 1 and 2. Part 1 and 2, this is uh, times 4, uh, because uh, part 1 and 2, I never heard anybody having any problem with it, and the first time I ever tried it in my life, I got it. It's not difficult at all. The real problem is part 3 and 4. Here's an example of part 3. Uh, part 3, okay. Uh, to complete the whole bonus stage, the first time I did it was with a controller. I mapped uh, my, uh, the space bar to one button on my controller, but now I'm able to do it with the mouse every time. I'm going to show you how uh, how the pink blocks help, but I'm going to show you how to do it without pink blocks at all. Let's look at the tutorial. There's only two things I need to show you. We're approaching it, right there. Here you need to do the smallest jump you can and land on the left side where the line is so you have enough momentum to run over the gap like in Super Mario Brothers. With this, you don't need the pink blocks. Here, I jump too high and I fall too far on the gray block, I don't have enough momentum and if I didn't have the pink blocks, I would fall in the pit. That's why the pink blocks are super useful in part 3. Very important if you have difficulty. Right there I would have fallen, okay? That's all there is to it. These are the two things I need to tell you for part 3. Here's an example of part 4. Part 4 there's two variants. For some reason I couldn't get the other one, it took me forever, but uh, this variant has the high cliff and then you do the big jump like that, right? So I'm going to show you that. And you will notice that I'm not touching any pink blocks on this specific run, but there is a use for pink blocks in uh, this uh, part and I'm going to show you where. It's good to throw an arrow here by the way, sometimes I don't do it gives you a little more SP. So I called it type A. Let's check it out. You run and what you need to do is pretty close to the gap of the highest part. You get a whole jump as much as possible. It will enable you to fall right where the little square on the right is. Like so. Here, you have enough momentum to jump over. Don't try this before in other parts because every part you go faster. You jump after the the sign and you can jump over the gray block and fall where the line is on the right. And you don't need the pink blocks if you do it perfectly. That's type A. Type B, they will make you jump from the ground into the little gap. Here. Here you gotta hold just a bit, but if you just tap it, you're gonna fall in the hole. If you hold all the way, you're gonna hit the wall, so you gotta find a sweet spot and you need practice. It's hard to describe how long to hold the button, but with practice, you'll be fine, because if you clear part three, uh, often enough, you get many opportunities to practice here. Here, I jump too early. I should jump after the sign, not before. And look, I would fall right in the pit if I didn't have a pink blocks. That's why pink blocks are also useful in part four. Yeah. 
and here in a moment here see i jump a bit too high but it's no problem i hit the wall it's better to jump too high than too low otherwise you fall in the pit and yes buy the blocks and practice this concludes episode 14 of idol slayer 100 percent achievement journey if you had trouble with this stage i hope this helped I'm working on a Divinities episode, but it's taking me some time to accumulate enough footage. If I was to make the video right now, it would be too short. If you didn't have a chance to check, there's a recommended video on my new series, Path to Repentance, Binding of Isaac. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.